what's going on peeps welcome back to the channel i know it has been a while um just been enjoying the sun enjoying the euros but you know me i can't stay away from football so i decided to bring you guys a bit of a pro show and get a bit of an insight into what's happening in terms of football in cape town get insight from for people that have played the game so we are brought to you live from soundcore studios beautiful studio uh shout out giovanni for letting us giving us this opportunity go and check out the socials like them like them on insta twitter facebook that type of thing and of course you know what to do with my channel dvd tv like like the thing share the thing subscribe to the thing allow me to introduce my co-host a man who has played at the top flight for santos vasco milana you name it richards bay has been all over my co-host gregory rolf carbo what's going on 50 how are you my guy i'm fine yourself i'm good my bro thanks for jumping on um like it's always good that somebody else can always give a bit of a football insight besides me i just had best shit at times um so good and of course a man who has played the game at the top flight he boasts an awesome cv of playing for santos vasco da gama milano one telcom knockout appearance two m appearances four net bank cup appearances 84 dstv premiership appearances 91 top flight appearances ricardo skippers welcome my brother allow me to firstly say i'm honored and humbled that you took the time to jump up on the spot how are you doing i'm very well wow that stats i don't <laughs> even know about that stats but um no thank you for having me i'm um, just as humbled to be here uh, great love for jumping on look firstly um allow me to wish you happy birthday um you see many many more and i want to ask how old you are um like they say old party coty <laughs> But anyway, let's get into it. Um, Ricardo, obviously I asked you here for a reason. Um, of course, I first want to jump up on some stats. Um, so, of course, the name of the show is The State of Football in Cape Town. Um, so I'll give you some stats. Cape Town City FC, 7th in the DSTV Premiership. Stellenbosch ended 14th, 2 points above the relegation zone. I'll then drop lower to the Glad Africa Championship. Greg, you would know all about this, you've played there. Cape Moya, your former club. Uh, seventh, eight points of promotion, not too bad in my opinion. Cape Town All Stars, tenth, seven points of the relegation zone, which is now Ajax, formerly known as Ajax. Oh, no, 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 that's Cape Town All Stars. Of course, they spend big money, of course, um, Jared Marwan, etc. Cape Town Spurs, now Ajax, thirteenth, three points of the relegation zone, disgusting. And your former club, Greg Steenberg, fifteenth, relegated. Uh, Greg, I think that takes the term relegations off to a new level. But okay, you weren't there. Credit to you, though. You weren't there, my brother. Um, but Ricardo, is this cause for concern? Um, in your opinion, has this decline been coming for a while? Seeing that when you played in the top flight, there were two clubs, Ajax and Santos, given that they've also fallen into a bus. But again, is this cause for concern? In your opinion, has the decline been coming for a while? Um, definitely cause for concern. Um, I think the decline has came at, at Santos' time already now. Mm -hmm. when we dropped to the NFT and then uh, I remember the very next season we almost won promotion and then um, from there um, teams just came past us we, it was financially they were better than us they were stronger um, they just looked much stronger than us like the whole presence around them so it has been coming a, a while um, I haven't been following obviously due to COVID we couldn't go watch any games but of course um, I haven't been following the, in the, any of the games, but the, for the few PSL games I've watched, um, to credit to, to Cape Town City, they do play good, mm. good football. I think um, a few results, very unlucky, but very, very impressed with them, especially with, with um, producing so many um, Cape Town players. Um, of course. Bakri, Craig Martin, um, mm. Phyllis, just to mention a few, um, Barra, Ted, and that. So, um, to them, I can only I can take my hat off and say, um, well done. I think they 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 um they bring in a lot of um Cape Town players through. Of course, so which is good to see. I agree. Couldn't agree with you more. You mentioned something interesting um in terms of financially that type of thing. Um, I wanted to ask you, which comes lies up perfectly to my next question. Where do you think the problem lies? Investment from the owners into the squad itself, grassroots, or maybe even both? <laughs> Definitely both. Um. For, for the owners, I'm, I'm not going to speak out of their pockets. So. <laughs> um, but definitely, I think should invest more in the squads. Um, I don't see why um, our Cape Town boys why um, they should go play in Joburg for mm. more money. Mm. If you look at um, your next guess, I'm going to say mm -hmm. why why 
Why do I need to go to Joburg? Why can't we just sort him out in Cape Town? You know, exactly. and don't we get a happier player? I mean, he's with his family, he's with his, his, his fiance, his girlfriend, his wife, Thanks. I'm not too sure. But he went home, so I guess you're happier. And uh, I mean, to me, a happy player is a better player. Yeah. You know, to me, I just think we play the same sports, we come up against each other every week, but yet the, 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 um, the, the salary bracket is, is miles apart. So something yeah. to look at. Uh, can, I, can I jump in there? I just wanted to say uh, the, the mentality of the owners in Cape Town mm-hmm. and the mentality of the owners out of Cape Town is, is a big difference. Yeah. I think the owners in Cape Town doesn't want to invest in football. That's, uh, there's only like, for me, Kometas is the only one that in this past few years now that, that really invested in, in, the, in, in this club. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, compared to the other owners in Cape Town, mm-hmm. talking about the PSL or the DSTV mm-hmm. Premiership and the um, Great Africa. I think he's the only um, owner that can keep his head up high in, in Cape Town. In as Cape well. Town honestly. Fair enough. Um, look, okay, so how do we fix this? How do we prevent more um, Cape teams falling like Infinity Stones in the Avengers? How do we how do we stop this from happening? Um, to me, it's like to hold on to your to your um, what is that? To hold on to your to your Lila Caves. You know, use them as your, 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 your main guys in the team. Um, and also then grassroots, you have to go look at um, in investing in the grassroots. I think there's, there's, there's not enough um, development out there. And I think uh, it also comes down to getting our coaches educated. I don't think there's enough youth coaches. And I think that's the main thing. If you look at like other countries, well, especially Dubai, I follow this one boy, Keegan, mm-hmm. used to be at Magic. Uh-huh. Like, they invest in him, he does his, his badges, and I think, in my opinion, the, the, the youth coaches, I think they should be paid much more. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I think they are, um, they are basically responsible for producing the next big thing, of course. In, my, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. You mentioned grassroots actually. Um, do you think, look, I know before when you guys played professionally, there was, of course, your Cape Fish, your Engine, and of course the Metropolitan Cup. Do you think we need more tournaments like that in Cape Town? Yeah, definitely more tournaments um, just to bring the best uh, against the best. Of course. Um, obviously, just to, to see where we are. And then just involving the Joburg teams in the tournaments, mm-hmm. not just keeping it to our Cape teams. I know the, 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 the Metropolitan Cup does that. And the, the Cape Fish, I'm not sure what it's called anymore, mm. but they do, but just maybe more and inviting um, your Chiefs, your Orlando Pirates, of like course. just getting the best out there and True. let our youth like, enjoy enjoy themselves and just um, have fun. What I want to say, what do you, don't you think um, maybe the, maybe we can um, open up more academies in, in Cape Town? Maybe won't that be better? Relinquish you. Because if we think about it now, what what academy can we talk about now? In Cape Town? Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, definitely, but who's going to invest? That's the yeah. main thing. Um, I think yeah. the money is the main thing. I think with, when Ajax was the team, I think they had huge backing from Amsterdam. Massive backing. Yeah. Massive so backing. with that gone, um, you're probably just looking at um, Cape Town City at the moment. Mm-hmm. And then you are seeing lots of posts of Five hundred and fifty rand child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little child, uh, uh, some excellent training drill. Oh, bro, <laughs> that's amazing now. Yeah, to me, I see a money making thing going mm-hmm. around. Yeah, and and unfortunately, sad. yeah, our, our most talented players won't won't, won't be able because to. Won't be able to. Most of them don't have money. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, me and myself, I come from that. I couldn't afford to pay to yeah. play. I was blessed enough and I was fortunate enough that there was people um, behind me that said, listen, yeah. I'll pay you some, I'll, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll get them boost. Mm. So, yeah, I think most uh, academies, I can say it, it's, mm. it's, um, it's all about money. Yeah. Uh, couldn't agree with you more. But, we have you here, we might as well come on to um, Ricardo Skippers. I have a question first, I know Greg's got two questions for you as well. What is Ricardo Skippers getting up to now with himself? What do retired footballers do now? Um, I'm a dad of two, um, Lovely. a beautiful Lovely. wife at home. Um, I have a, a t- 
me I will turn three end of July and then uh, uh, lovely. Uh, one year old just turned one the fifth of June. So they keep me busy. Um, I'm always tired. Okay. <laughs> I, I More than when you were playing? No, definitely. I, I wake up tired <laughs> because sleep is not your sleep anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, I'm working at the moment at Mountain Road Primary. Um, here in Woodstock, I'm a, um, the sports coordinator, so basically I run the sports nice. section and then uh, I also do the visit in our time known as PT. Okay. So I do that for the school. Awesome, awesome. You have two questions, Jeff? Yeah, um, my first question is uh, during your time at Santos, uh, I just wanted to know who was your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate? Uh, listen, <laughs> we have to keep Greg also. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> although he's very funny actually. <laughs> but, just thinking about it, my mind. You were the funniest, though. <laughs> these options? There's, there's, there's lots of look at, I look at Greg, I look at um, Gino Gabona, man. Wow, dry humor. <laughs> <laughs> He's dry, but so funny. Um, who do you think? Was I was thinking about Greg Banky. Wow. Oh, Pity no, was listen, funny. Pity. Pity, Pity throws you the jokes, but yep. if you're not on the level, you're not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to, you need to be, be witty with Pity. Yeah, Pity, Pity. Uh, yeah, yeah, Pity so, was great, uh, man. So Pity gives you the, the, the higher grade ones. You need to be on your toes with Pity. There's been a few, even Zuniga Makunese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely Greg as well. No, Greg is, <laughs> Greg is, no, Greg is funny. And then, um, I still have the last one for you, sorry. Um, was Booby Solomon the best coach you played under? Best coach, um, definitely the one who gave me the opportunity, so so I have to um, say thank you to Booby for I that. I have to, um, Booby. What, what, what he taught me was definitely like time etiquette. Like that's, I'm never late, I hate being late. Yeah. So, <laughs> discipline, um, big ups to Booby. Um, not always agreeing with his coaching method at times, but um, huge respect for him. Many times he got it right, we all get it wrong. So yeah. big up, big up to Booby, and then also to um, to um, Roger Desa, oh, lovely okay. play, mm. players coach. Oh, lovely. I think I was a bit unfortunate with my injuries and then mm. but he gave me he gave me a chance to play, but then um, I got injured and got injured at home doing silly things, and mm. then. Um, Obviously the chance slipped and then I got it again with Booby. But oh. for me then it's um Booby and Roger. Ah, lovely. No, but must say um it's been awesome. It's again like I said, I'm humble and honored that you came on. Uh, Ricardo, um, can only wish you all the best in the future. Thank um you. keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Corbs. <laughs> Good first show. And that's a wrap people, you know what to do. Like the thing, share the thing, subscribe to the thing. It's Garber, Ricardo Skippers, and we're out. Thanks. Bye.